Good evening and Shabbat Shalom. Everyone, welcome to Congregation Mikveh Israel and our Friday evening service, the last service in July. We want to wish everyone all the best as they prepare for school next week. It starts very early in Savannah, so good luck to all the students out there. This evening we'll be using our Mishkan Tefillah prayer book, which you can find online. As always, we give two page numbers because there are two versions. Again, welcome to our members, welcome to our visitors, welcome to everyone in our building, and welcome to everyone watching online. We're going to begin our service on page 2, our 120, as we light the Sabbath candles. It's a pleasure to invite up Joni Dane Kellogg, as she will have the honor this evening. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech alam, asher kiddushanu b'mitzvotav, v'etzivanu lahad nekneer shel Shabbat. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Joni. Shabbat shalom, everyone. We're going to turn to page 6 or 124 for our opening prayer in English. The bottom of the page. May the door of this synagogue be wide enough to receive all who hunger for love, all who are lonely for friendship. May it welcome all who have cares to unburden, thanks to express, hopes to nurture. May the door of this synagogue be narrow enough to shut out pettiness and pride, envy and enmity. May its threshold be no stumbling block to young or straying feet, May it be too high to admit complacency, selfishness, and harshness. May the synagogue be for all who enter the doorway to a richer and more meaningful life. And that is, of course, a figurative door because we say the same for those who are in the building or those who are watching online, for those who are members of our community in town and those who live elsewhere. We're going to continue on page 20 or 138. There we're going to find Lecha Dodi, as we're going to celebrate the Sabbath bride. We're going to sing verses 1, 2, 5, and 9. Now we're going to stay seated for all of the prayer until the very end for verse 9. I'm going to invite everyone to rise and face the entrance as we welcome the Sabbath bride. So together we sing Lecha Dodi. i 
call to worship as it's known is found on page 28 or 146. You will see in our prayer book that on page 28, 146, there's an English prayer and a Hebrew prayer. And on the next page, two English prayers. All three of those English prayers are just different translations for the one Hebrew prayer. That's why we skip pages because we just read one of the three options in English. So first we're going to now together sing the Barhu. Page 31, 149, we find our prayer for creation. I'm going to read the wonderful footnote at the bottom by Amos Oz or Amos Oz, a wonderful Israeli writer. I know that the tide is not an independent force, but merely the submission of the water to the movement of the moon in its orbit. And this orbit is in turn subject to other orbits which are mightier far than it. And so the whole universe is held fast in the clinging grip of strong hands, the forces of earth and sun, planets and comets and galaxies, blindly erupting forces, ceaselessly stirring in ripples of silence to the very depth of black space. Amen. As we continue with our prayer of God's love on page 33 or 151, we're going to read responsibly at the bottom. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. And these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch Atadonai Ohev Amo Yisrael. As together on the next page, we sing the watchwords of our faith, Shema. as we're going to continue with the Ve'ahavta on page 36 or 154. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha v'hayu ha'devarim ha'ele asher anochi mitzavecha hayom ha'levavecha Veshi nantam levanecha, vedi bar tabam, veshif techa bebe techa, uvlech techa va derech, ushach becha ukumecha, ushar tam leo talia decha, vehayula tota fod vene necha, uchtav tam, amizuzot be techa, uvisha recha, leman tiskeru. Vasitem et komitzvotai, vitem kedoshim lelohechem, ani adonai lohechem, asher hotzeti etchem me eretz mitzrayim, liot lachem lelohim, ani adonai lohechem. And let's go ahead and read the translation on page 37 or 155. It's an alternative one. Together we'll read that. Love your God with every heartbeat, with every breath, and with every conscious act. Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your children. Talk about them at work, whether you are tired or you are rested. Let them guide the work of your hands. Keep them in the forefront of your vision. 
Do not leave them at the doorway of your house or outside the gate. They are reminders to do all of my meats. Vote so that you can be holy for God. I am Adonai, your God. I led you out of Egypt to become your God. I am Adonai, your God. And at the bottom of page 37 or 156, sorry, 155, we're going to read in the middle. I'm just going to read that wonderful passage by Martin Buber. When people come to you for help, do not turn them off with pious words saying, have faith and take your troubles to God. Act instead as if there were no God, as though there were only one person in all the world who could help, only yourself. And that is one of the basis of Judaism right there. Continuing on page 39 or 157, at the top we're going to read our prayer of redemption responsibly. Standing at the parted shores of history, we still believe what we were taught before ever we stood at Sinai's foot. That wherever we go, it is eternally Egypt, that there is a better place, a promised land, that the winding way to that promise passes through the wilderness, that there is no way to get from here to there except by joining hands and marching together. As on the next page, we're going to sing our prayer of freedom, Micha Mocha. Before we sing Yismechu, our prayer for the Sabbath, on page 43 or 161, I'm going to read our prayer, Hashki Venu. Let there be love and understanding among us. Let peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up, waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai haparei sukkat shalom aleinu ve'al kol amo Yisrael ve'al Yerushalayim as we continue on 44.162 with Yismechu. Yismechu b'malechu t'cha Shomrei, Shomrei, Shomrei Shabbat Shabbat, kulam yisbu, itangumi tu vechashabat. 
going to turn to page 48 or 166, where we find the Amidah. We're going to chant the Avot on page 166 and 48, and then we're going to go straight to page 50 and 168 for the giver o to invite everyone to please rise. Baruch Adonai, Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu, Elohei Avoteinu, Vimoteinu, Elohei Abraham, Elohei Yitzchak, Elohei Yaakov, Elohei Sarah, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Leha, Elohei Rachel, Ha'il Hagadol Hagibor Vahanura, El Elyon, Gomel Kasadim Tovim, Bekonei Hakol, Bezocher Kaste Avod Bimaud, Ume Vigula Livnevenem, Laman Shmo Vehava, Melako Zeru Moshia Uma Gain, Baruch Atadonai, Magain Abraham Bezrat Sarah. Atagi Borle Olam Adonai, Mechaye Hakolat Arab Leoshia, Mechakel Chaim Bechesed, Mechaye Hakol Berakamim Rabim, So make Novelim Verofe Kolim, Umatir Asurim, Umakayem Emunato, Lishene Afar, Mikamoka Bal Givurot, Umido Mela. Melech me mi tu machaye, u mats mi akeshua. Then a man at Hala hachayo tako. Baruch atadonai, mechaye hako. And we turn to page 53 or 171, the top of the page. Days pass and the years vanish, and we walk sightless among miracles. God, fill our eyes with seeing and our minds with knowing. Let there be moments when your presence like lightning illumines the darkness in which we walk. Help us to see wherever we gaze that the bush burns unconsumed and we clay touched by God will reach out for holiness and exclaim in wonder, how filled with awe is this place and we did not know it. Blessed is the eternal one, the holy God, Baruch HaTadonai HaEl HaKadosh, as I invite everyone to please be seated. I'm going to continue on page 54 in the middle of the page. Let's read that, our prayer for the Sabbath together. You set aside the seventh day for your name, the pinnacle of creation, and you blessed it above all other days, more sacred than all festival times. So it is written in your Torah, the heaven and the earth were finished in all their array. On the seventh day, God had completed the work that had been done, ceasing then on the seventh day from all the work that God had done. Then God blessed the seventh day and made it holy and ceased from all the creative work that God had chosen to do. Amen. And we're now going to go ahead into page 57, as I'm going to read at the top, or 175, ever-present one, may we be your people Israel, may we be worthy in our deeds and our prayer. Wherever we live, wherever we seek you, in this land, in Zion restored, in all lands, you are a God whom alone we serve in reverence. Baruch HaTadonai, Shotechah Levad Chabiyira Na'avot. Usually we sing that as a song, but I thought I'd just read it tonight. On page 59, let's go ahead and read together at the bottom. It's also 177. When we behold your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and stars that you set in place. What are we humans that you are mindful of us? We mortals that you take note of us. You made us little less than divine, adorned us with glory and majesty. You gave us dominion over your handiwork, laying the world at our feet. How majestic is your name throughout the earth. Baruch atadonai hatov shimcha lachana elahotot. And now we conclude the Amidahs with our prayer of peace. I'm going to invite Stephen Harris, a member of our Board of Ajunta, to read a prayer of peace from the Union Prayer Book. Grant us peace, thy most precious gift, O thou eternal source of peace, 
and enable Israel to be its messenger unto the peoples of the earth. Bless our country that it may ever be a stronghold of peace and its advocate in the council of nations. May contentment reign within its borders, health and happiness within its homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of our land. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of thy name hallow every home and every heart. Praise be thou, O Lord, giver of peace. Amen, and thank you, Steve. We're now going to sing that prayer in Hebrew on page 60 or 178. It's known as Shalom Rav. As we do each week, we take a moment to sing our prayer of healing. So I'm going to invite everyone to turn to page 253 or 371. There in the middle of the page, we find Debbie Friedman's Misha Berach. As a look around our sanctuary, I'm going to invite anyone here, but also anyone watching online to say any names aloud or privately. David Schwartz. Pause for a second as I think we just played the sorry, we're gonna do Misha Bera. Perfect. Yes. 
let's take that moment of private meditation, and we're going to turn to page 344 or 648 for Shir Chadash, a new song. Shabbat Shalom. Welcome everyone visiting. I see we have some people here who may be from out of town, so welcome. Welcome to people online. We're going to take a moment to see if anyone is celebrating anything or would just like to share something that really is nice that happened in their lives. So does anybody want to grace us with one of these wonderful stories or celebrations? Nobody tonight? Anybody here from out of town? Where are you from? Charlotte, excellent. And are the people with you from Charlotte as well? Or did you come here on your own? Yeah. yeah. Well, welcome from Charlotte. So we don't have anything to say Shachianu tonight for, but we will talk a little bit about grammar because I know that's what you wanted to talk about tonight. In English, which is one of the dominant languages in the world, we have to wonder how did this language become so dominant? Because it's one of the hardest languages to, to learn. It has so many rules and it breaks them all the time. If you look at a word in English, it can have very similar letters and have a very different pronunciation, E, A, I, E, M, and all of the letters seem to have three or four ways to pronounce them. And we have all these weird rules like I before E except after Z. I mean, we have these amazing rules and just so many of them. And this is kind of like the calendar in Judaism. Because in Judaism, as we know, we're supposed to read a Torah portion every week. So Saturday is a new Torah portion. And that's how it's supposed to be, but it doesn't always work out this way. First of all, if a holiday is on a Saturday, then the Torah portion is moved to the next week and you read the holiday Torah portion. So that throws everything off. But what really throws it off is the calendar itself, because seven times in every 19 years, we add a whole month to the calendar. It's called a leap year, but in Hebrew, we add a month. So that means you have to have extra Torah portions available about a third of the time. And so what we see is a strange set of circumstances that means certain Torah portions are united together. So some years when it is not a leap year, so I'm sorry, two-thirds of the time, 
you have to sometimes have two portions on the same week. And this week we have Matot Maseh, which are the last two portions of Numbers before we get to Deuteronomy. And it's two portions. Why? Because this is not a leap year. If we were to have a leap year, then we would be able to separate them. And there would be Matot one week and Maseh the next week. It also throws off the Haftor portion. Because this week we have two Torah portions, but do we have two Haftor portions? No, one of the Haftor portions is simply not read. So you have to actually check out the calendar to see if it's a leap year, to see which holidays, Yom Kippur, Rosh Hashanah, Sukkot, Pesach, or Shavuos, if any of those are on a Saturday, it changes the cycle itself. So really you have to pay careful attention to ensure that you're reading the right Torah portion because just because you read a Torah portion last week doesn't mean the next one is the next week. It might be a holiday. It also doesn't mean there's only one portion the next week. There may be two. It also means that maybe you think it's two portions, but it's really one. But we know how that can throw everybody off. And so I want us all to understand that we're going to celebrate a double portion this week because mostly it's not a leap year. It's the last portion, so after we read a little bit of Torah tomorrow, we'll say Hazach, Hazach, Bani Chazek, which is what you do when you conclude a book. I'm O for three this year. I've missed saying it three times in a row at the conclusion of three books, so hopefully I'll get it right tomorrow. But again, Shabbat Shalom, and we look forward to going into the book of Deuteronomy, which tells us uh, we're concluding the year in a few months, and of course, the high holidays will begin on September 25th, so a little late this year, but not really because it's the exact time every year on the Hebrew calendar. It's just late on our international calendar. So we're going to go ahead and turn to page 282 now for the Elenu. We're going to sing the Elenu at the bottom of the page. I'm going to invite everyone to please rise as I invite Steve and Leslie to open our ark. Alenu le shabeach la don hako, la teid gidula le otseb reshit, shelo asanu kigoye aratsot, velo samanu kemishbechot adama, shelo sam chelkenu kahem, vego ralenu kechol hamonam, vanachnu korim, umishtachavim umodim, Lifne Melech Malche Hamlachim Hakadosh Barechu. Please be seated as we're going to go to page 287 or 591 as we're going to read together at the top of the page. May we gain wisdom in our lives overflowing like a river with understanding loved each of us for the peace we bring to others. May our deeds exceed our speech, and may we never lift up our hand but to conquer fear and doubt and despair. Rise up like the sun, O God, over all humanity. Cause light to go forth over all the lands between the seas, and light up the universe with the joy of wholeness, of freedom, and of peace, as we sing the Ne'emar. Or by your Lemar, Bahayan Onai, Lemelech, all colorets, Bayom Hau, Bayom Hau, Ye Adonai Echad, Ushmo, Ushmo, Ushmo. Page 295 or 599 as we prepare for Kaddish. We think of our loved ones whom death has recently taken from us, those who died at this season in years past, and those whom we have drawn into our hearts with our own. Zichonan libracha, may their memories be for a blessing. 
As we do each week, we take a moment now to honor the memory of the men and women who gave their lives defending our country as members of armed forces and police forces. We remember the yard site anniversary of Catherine Fagan, Francis Gazan, Burl Pitchford Hawkins, Stella Malcolm Hirsch, Elias Strauss Hirsch, Jeanette Isaac Lasky, Ruth Lawanda, Leo S. Lippman, Tina Lipsitz, Samuel Michaels, Addie Mae Oppenheim, Herman Pearson, Dora F. Salkin, Catherine Silver, Rose Solomon, Fred Schwartzberg, George Weiss, Fanny S. Weatherhorn. Our thoughts also go out to the families who lost loved ones recently. We send our thoughts to the family of Jeff Caffey, to the family of Michael Cohen, and to the family of Anna Kehan. Does anybody else have the name of someone they'd like to add? The Cottage Praise is on page 294 or 598, as I invite all who would like to please rise. Yitkadal v'yitkadash shemei rabah v'yalma divrach yirutei v'yamlich malchutei v'chayachon v'yomechon v'chayedichol b'yit Yisrael v'agala v'yizman kari v'yimru amen yehe shemei rabah mevarach le'olam olomei almaya yitbarach v'yishtabach v'yitpa'ar v'yitromam v'yitnasei v'yitadar v'yitale v'yitalal shemei dekudisha b'rechu Leela min kober chata v'shirata, tush bechata v'nechemata, damiram b'alma v'imru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, v'chaim aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. O se shalom b'mromav, hu yaase shalom, aleinu v'al kol Yisrael v'imru amen. May the one who creates harmony on high bring peace to us and to all Israel to which we say amen. Please be seated as it's an absolute pleasure to invite up our president, our Parnasit, Leslie Westmoreland. Thank you, Rabbi Haas, and thank you for leading such a lovely service tonight. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. It's so nice to see everybody here, and we're so glad to have some visiting children grace our, our sanctuary today. They always make services so much more fun, especially for me, because I get to sit up there and, and look at them. Um, anyway, well, thank you all for coming, and, and good Shabbos to everybody who is watching it online also. Um, a few thank yous today. First of all, thank you very much to Seth, who is filling in for Jason tonight and is making it possible for this to be shown at home today, too. And thank you for Steve for, for sitting up here with me and taking part in the service. Thank you to Joni for lighting the candles. And thank you to Pam for helping, uh, acting as an usher tonight and getting us all seated and, and everybody to have books. So thank you all so much. A few announcements. Um, tomorrow we will have in-person services, 11 o'clock here, and would love for you all to join us. Also, the Honey Sale, the Women of Mikveh Israel, or formerly known as the Women's Sisterhood, Mikveh Israel Sisterhood, the Honey Sale is still ongoing, and that money benefits the Sisterhood, which really just benefits the synagogue. So please, if you haven't yet, it's a wonderful thing to send family and, friend, family and friends for the high holidays. Please order some honey. See Jennifer's email for information about that. We also have a very cool event that's being sponsored by the Orthodox Shul, um, Bibi Jacob, and also Agud Thakim, the conservative shul, and then also us from Mikveh Israel called Junity. And this will be an event for um, all those age 21 and older, Wednesday, August 17th at 8 p.m. at Bar Foods. And it really is to show that even though we may worship in different synagogues, we all stand together as Jews and we're all one people. So please come join, um, come join me and everyone else will be there. It should be a wonderful night. Another event we have upcoming is August 25th. The women of um, Congregation Mikveh Israel will be baking challah. It's a great time to learn how to bake challah. And also there will be activities going on that will take place here at synagogue at 4.30. So please join us for those. Everyone have a wonderful weekend. Shabbat Shalom.
Just a reminder, next week we will not be having services in the building. It's our once a month Friday night virtual service. It was switched from August 12th to August 5th. Just to make sure everybody knows we won't be in this building next Friday, but we will be in August 12th. So thank you, Leslie. Shabbat shalom again to everyone. We're going to conclude our service tonight on page 345 or 649 with the Tefillat HaDerech. I'm going to invite everyone to please rise, but before we sing, please turn to your neighbors, but please rise, turn to everyone around you, wish them a Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom, introduce yourselves, welcome them. Shabbat Shalom, and together we're going to sing Tefillat HaDerech. be blessed this weekend and may all those students returning to school next week or starting school next week have a wonderful first week. Amen. Shabbat Shalom. Please be seated everyone. Before we conclude our service we're going to do Kiddush and Motzi and then everyone here is invited to go behind us through those doors to the foyer where you can get some Motzi and Kiddush. You're welcome up here anytime as long as your parents say it's okay. <laughs> So for those of you who want to sing it with me, page 5 or 123, you're welcome up here. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, borei peri hagafen. Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu mitzvotav veratzavanu. Veshabad kodshu veahava uvratzon chinchilanu. Zikaron lemaase vereshit ki hu yom tehila lemikrae kodesh zecher letziat mitzrayim ki vanu vacharta veotanu ki dashta mikohamim veshabat kodshecha veahava uvratzon hinchaltanu Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Amen and L'chaim.
we get we definitely have people who deserve challah. Let me say the prayer, and then you guys get the first pieces, all right? Baruch atadonai Eloheinu melech halam hamotzi lechem in haaretz. Amen. Before COVID, when we had all the children coming here, the rule was only children get big pieces of challah. So we're going to continue that tonight. So Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Have a wonderful weekend. And I'm going to give two giant pieces to these kids. And all the adults can have small pieces as God intended. Amen. And Shabbat Shalom, everyone. Mm -hmm.